In this video, I'm going to go over how to set up and configure PayPal as a payment method and payment gateway for your WooCommerce storefront. So to configure those settings, you log into your site dashboard. On the left-hand sidebar here, you'll see the WooCommerce button. Click that, and then click on Settings. And lastly, you're going to want to click on Payments here, this Payment tab up top. You see a bunch of payment methods are listed here, and one of them is PayPal right here. If we go all the way to the right, there's a Setup button. Clicking that will take us to a page that looks like this. So first things first, we're going to want to enable PayPal if you're going to be using PayPal on your site. And this is the title. This is the way it will appear to users. 99% um, of your customers will know what PayPal is. So if you just leave it as PayPal, they'll see that. They can select it and check out through PayPal if they wish. This is the description of how PayPal works. So the default is pay with your credit card if you don't have it with you. Um, but you can change this to whatever you like if for some reason you need to change that. Lastly here, this is your PayPal email. Um, this is your PayPal administration email address. This is the email address on file with your PayPal account. This is how you accept your payments. So for example, for this website, if they signed up for PayPal and their PayPal address is info at williswildwings.com, that's what we want to have in this text box because that is how PayPal knows where those funds are going, which account they're going into. And of course, that's important. If you wanted to test PayPal before you deploy it on your site, you can do it right here, enabling PayPal Sandbox, which means that any transactions going through won't be real, but um, they allow you to make sure that everything's working on your end, everything's working on PayPal's end, so whenever it goes live on the website, your customers don't have an issue paying with PayPal. Next up, you'll never need this button, but in case something goes wrong, we can log in, use this button, allows us to do some troubleshooting. Gets that, uh, gets that mess out of your hair to make sure that you don't have to worry about that and we'll fix any problems that come up with PayPal, even though a problem with PayPal is pretty rare. Lastly here, an IPN email notification. Um, this is a notification in case one of those is received from PayPal, uh, which is indicating a refund, a chargeback, or any kind of cancellation, uh, anything other than a standard purchase. Um, of course, you'll want to have those enabled in case uh, somebody, somebody requested a refund or something didn't go quite right with a uh, single transaction. Um, this is the email address that those notifications will be sent to. This is your PayPal identity token. Um, you can optionally enable this. This is where you go. It's under your profile sell settings and your selling tools. And then in website preferences, that's in your PayPal account settings. This is where you can copy your identity token. And this is, uh, this is what it will allow payments to be verified without the need for a PayPal uh, IPN. Lastly here, the invoice prefix. If you have multiple websites talking to a single PayPal account, it's very important to change this invoice prefix because if you don't, PayPal may reject a charge from another site if it has the same invoice number. So this is Willie's Wild Wings. I might do www dash and then the invoice number. And then if you have another store, you can put the store's name in front. That makes sure that it's guaranteed between sites, no two invoice numbers will conflict, and therefore no issues will arise from accepting payments through PayPal. Lastly here, we can do some shipping details. So we can send the shipping details to PayPal instead of the billing. That allows, uh, that allows PayPal to send one address, um, and that's also very convenient if you're using PayPal's to make your shipping uh, shipping labels. So if you get an order through PayPal and it allows you to print that shipping label, you don't have to enter any other addresses. It's already good to go. Um, but if you turn that option off, it may prevent PayPal seller protect protection. Um, that's, uh, that's more information about how PayPal works. And if you have any questions about that, um, they're very good. They're very uh, readily available. But generally, leaving this on doesn't, uh, doesn't cause uh, a problem. We can enable address override. Uh, that prevents address information from being changed. Um, PayPal will verify an address before uh, before they're submitted, so this setting can cause errors. So we recommend keeping this disabled unless there's a very specific reason for you to keep it enabled. Um, other than that, keeping it disabled is the best way to go. Lastly, the payment action down here. This is how you want to handle payments. So the default is capture which means that we don't, uh, WooCommerce will not mark an order as complete until the funds from whoever's card they're charging has been transferred to the account. 
but if you want to change it to authorize only, it'll be marked as complete, and they'll be able to get the goods, and a and a new uh, new order will appear in your your store um, whenever the card holder's company bank has authorized the payment instead of actually sent the payment over. Um, that's good for uh, some credit cards do that where they authorize a transaction and it takes a couple days for it to actually come over. Um, but 99% of the time, leaving it at capture is the best way to go. Lastly, you can change the page style parameters here. Um, that's for the PayPal Classic checkout page. Um, not too many people are using that anymore. It is optional. So therefore, we don't recommend you fill it out unless you have a very specific reason to. Then an image URL here, you can, uh, it could be an image uploaded to your website or an image anywhere that is 150 pixels by 50 pixels. Um, this will be your logo that appears in the upper corner uh, whenever somebody's checking out. If you don't put anything there, the PayPal logo will show up, so that's why this is marked as optional. Lastly here, we have some API credentials. Um, this allows you to process refunds via PayPal. You can learn how to access your credentials here by clicking this link in your settings page. Um, generally, this isn't really needed, but in the event that you want to put it in, uh, following that link, we'll show you how to do that, and it'll get the uh, personalized information from your account. So once you look over your PayPal settings, you're happy with the way everything works, and you're okay with the way uh, customers will go through the checkout process on your site. You can hit Save Changes down here. In a couple settings, in a couple setting, in a couple seconds, those settings will go across your site to where customers will then use PayPal the way you have defined it to work here. If you have any questions about PayPal or setting up PayPal for WooCommerce, please let us know. We'll be happy to help. Thank you.